ati <laughs> kwa sababu ninazaliwa cost akili yangu yafikiria harusi viazi karai urojo hina ntabakalini ha akili yangu mimi haifikiri zaidi ya msandi wangu unapofika sio na nkizaliwa tu nina review vivi kutoka kwa na <laughs> you guys have to change that narrative it's not true If you're new here, my name is Fatime Isa. Be sure to click that subscribe button so you join the crew and hit that bell notification sign so you're notified every time I upload a new video. So how have you guys been? I've been good and I can see we are growing. Yay! Um, so today I want us to talk about something a bit serious. From the title of this video, we, we need to change some narrative. They're just not true. Hence the red lipstick. Nothing gets past a woman wearing red lipstick. Okay, stop with the faces. I'm a Kenya coastal Muslim woman. And I've been <laughs> my fair share of segregation, discrimination, all that, just because I'm a Kenya coastal woman. And I don't know why that happens, but I think we really need to change the narrative the whole mindset about this whole situation let me tell you how it all started so back when i was in high school in the high school that i went to the principal in that school actually had some groups some profiling groups where if you're from kilifi mombasa the whole of mombasa that is mtwapa and all those small small places the coastal region then you are lazy and uh, naive too dumb and you only came to school to pass time so that you, you you're fully grown for marriage and if you're from central kenya um, up country then you know what you're doing and you have your shit together so you're here to learn and as a young woman i'm like what but then you know you're just 14 in form one you just ignore the whole situation you don't really understand it so i go through high school and then i'm done with high school i go through college and i'm done with college and uh, i start looking for a job and on my first interview this guy tells me like point blank utafanya kazi ama utaleta swahili ah now what's that supposed to mean Will I work or will I bring Muswahili? What is bringing Muswahili? <laughs> okay, that confused me. But again, I was trying to look for a job. So I said, Ntafanya kazi. I'll work. But in, my, in the back of my mind, I was like, why would he ask me that? Uh, my CV says, I am qualified to do all this and you you asked me a lot of questions that I answered and I passed the interview so why would you ask me this okay so I let that slide too and I didn't get that job by the way so I went somewhere else after many months and I got a job so my boss was a Muslim man God bless his soul and he tells me ah Fatime Sasa Hapa mama utafanya kazi ama uraleta mambo yako ya Kiswahili. That same nagging question, what is kuleta mambo ya Kiswahili though? So me I said um nitafanya kazi kwani uswahili nini? As in I would work because I don't know what this uswahili is. I know my job, I know how to do my job, so I think I'll do just that cuz that's what I'm trying to to do and he gave me the job and was like i want you here at eight every time every day i want you here at 8 a.m every day i don't want you to be late i don't want excuses of going to the weddings and the burials i don't want any of that story i said okay so that's that's uswahili putting family first above everything that's that's uswahili i also let that slide of course but every time 
I'm an accountant, so every time I'd go to certain offices to process certain papers, the people there would look at me like, are you sure you can handle this work? Uh, maybe you should call someone else to do this because I don't think you can do it. Again, the question mark in my face. Why can't I do it? Because of a Kenya coastal woman. And uh, whoever spread the rumor about us, we, we, we just need, we, we need to have a seat with that person, talk one on one and agree to disagree on some few areas. Because as a Kenya coastal Muslim woman, the last thing I'm thinking of is marriage. The last thing I'm thinking of is, have, is having a hundred kids. Because I'm pretty sure the whole world got this memo of come to earth and fill the world. It's not just the Kenya coastal Muslim woman that got that. We are oppressed. Yay! By who? When, where, why would we be oppressed? Because I choose to wear this or cover my body. Have you seen the sun outside in Mombasa, Kilifi, Kaloleni, anywhere around the coast? Have you? Maria Kani, Ushaona huko. Now tell me why would I want to burn my skin going out without covering it up? I thank Islam for bringing that rule. I mean, it would have been just horrific to deal with sunburns every day. I wear my hijab and we buoy anywhere, any day, anytime, just to protect me from the sun. Apart from the sunblock that we wear, trust me, any part that is outside your, is outside your body is not the same color as the past that do not see the sun and me i like my religion for that and there's no oppression in that it's just i think it's a plus for our skin actually leave religion out of it the culture because we have many cultural clothes that require you to fully cover yourself up and i for one just you know thought it was for preventing sunburns and it, it actually does that it actually does that so i don't see why we are oppressed by who i have not seen a much more liberated woman than a coastal woman if i go to work and it does not match my family responsibilities be sure i am leaving that job and how many people are seeing this light right now? Because somebody will be like, okay, you don't have to work. You don't have to put all your life into work. You have to put, you have to put some life. You have to put some time in your family. We've known that for a very long time. That's why a Kenya coastal woman would rather just stay home and take care of her family than go to work. Because we know there, must, there are some things that are way too important than to, you know, work. And saying that, most of them are self-employed because that's the only thing that actually accommodates their life so this whole thing about being oppressed it's not it's not true it's not true matter of fact maybe we are doing the oppression <laughs> that's a story for another day okay so we are naive and uneducated. Why? <laughs> okay. I'm naive and uneducated. Why why is that? I, I don't get that because I'm from the coast and I'm Muslim. So I'm naive and uneducated. Which part? There are people, there are women all over the world who are naive and uneducated. Just as there are women in the coast who are naive and uneducated. But not all of us are naive and uneducated. Some of us actually have masters, PhDs and every other thing that would qualify to for you to be called educated 
<sighs> this is so tiring. I think one conversation at a time should actually be able to neutralize all these thoughts because it, it doesn't make sense really. You walk into an office and you just see the tension because people are like, it's going to be so hard to work with this person because they are naive. They are uneducated. It's going to be impossible to actually explain anything and for them to understand because again, they're dumb. It's not true. We are just people like any other people everywhere. We have the ones that uphold the society with high values and the ones that, you know, just mess everything up, mess everything else up. But like any other society or community, there are things that we do that are good and there are things that we do that are not good, but that does not give anybody the right to actually box us into this box with labeling lazy dumb marriage oriented and all that no we actually do think outside the box and beyond the hijab so maybe we should start saying something from little conversations with our friends let people know that it's not what they think we are actually just human beings like any other and providing us is not the way to go. Um, so that's all I had to say. I wasn't trying to shout at you guys. I was just trying to air out all the issues that I've gone through as a Kenya coastal woman. And I'm not alone. I know there are so many people who actually have gone through this. So leave your challenges or your experiences down below in the comment section. And I'll be sure to have this conversation with you guys. So have a nice time. Until next time. Bye.